Hi everyone, it's Matt. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Planner with Microsoft Teams. And before we get started, just to let you know, I post videos twice a week. So if you don't wanna miss any, then hit the subscribe button. So what you can see here is my communications team with my training channel. And what I've done here is created a plan for a workshop that I'm creating. And I've added some buckets with tasks in them. And in the tasks, I've assigned them to people within the team. And I've also linked to files that I've uploaded into the team. So through this video, I'm just gonna talk you through how I did all that. Okay, to get started with your plan in Microsoft Teams, you just come to the plus button at the top here and add a tab. From the add a tab window, you choose planner. And Planner looks at the team and decides whether there's already some plans or whether you need to create a new one. So if there were plans here, I'd be given a list of them to choose from. But as they're on, I'm gonna create my new one. So I'm gonna call the tab workshop plan. So you see, I've got a new tab at the top now called workshop plan. And I've got a list here called to do, and that's actually a bucket. So in Planner, the to-do lists or lists of tasks are called buckets. So I can change these names. I can change this to content creation, because in this plan, we're gonna be creating a workshop. So my bucket's called content creation, and then I can create a video creation. And now I have a task down here that I can open up and add more details to. So I can assign people to it, as many as I like. I can set the progress, so in progress, and set a start date and an end date and a description. And I can also add attachments. So when I click on add attachments, it gives me a link and a SharePoint option. So link is just the standard URL for any internet address, but SharePoint will actually direct me to the team itself. So you can see here I've got two options in the documents uh, list, general and training. And over here that maps basically to my two channels. So if I come to training, I'll be given a list of all the documents. I can choose this PNG. I'm gonna use this as a, a thumbnail for my video. Choose save. Now you can see it's listed here. And also I've got show on card checked, which means it's gonna show me that thumbnail in the list back here. So you can see I've got my, my thumbnail here too and a link to it in the task. And you see I've got my two uh, assignees and I can assign more if I want to. So that's creating a simple task in a new bucket. So I can add as many buckets as I like. So let's come over here and add a new bucket called logistics, add a new task. I'm gonna call it room bookings. This is gonna be the task that books all the rooms. I'm gonna sign it and I'm gonna set a due date here. Okay, and then I'm gonna add the task. Now I've got the room bookings task. Another thing you can do is add a checklist. So if you wanted to break that task down into smaller tasks, like find a venue, invite the students, book the rooms. Okay. And I can also show those on card. If I come over here and check that, I can show those and they appear. And as I go through them, say I've found a venue, I can check them off so everyone can see. Now say I wanted to add a file to this new task, but it wasn't already uploaded. I could do that from the files tab within my team. So if I click on files, you can see I've got a list of files and I can choose the upload button and I can go find the file I'm interested in. In this case, it's the list of venues for my workshop and hit open. Now it uploads the file. You can see it's listed here now. And then I can go back to my workshop plan. I can choose my room bookings task and I'm gonna add the attachment and choose SharePoint. And then from the training folder, which is the channel I'm in, I'm gonna choose venue list, which is my PDF, and hit save. 
you can see again the venue list is listed and I can show it on the card if I want to. So in this video I showed you a quick overview of how to use Planner in Microsoft Teams. Thanks for watching and if you like these videos please share them with your friends and don't forget to subscribe because I'll be posting new ones every week.